Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. I am not gonna lie, I went a tad bit mystery box crazy last week and then they all came in and I was like, oh, I can't wait to open them. And they've been sitting and I was like, no, I really need to open them. So I'm gonna open a few of them right now. Well, in this video, I'm just gonna open one of them. But I wanted to get all the information. So in this video, we're gonna be unboxing this box. This is from Chrono Toys. I don't have a lot of good luck with Chrono Toys, to be honest, but they have mystery boxes at an affordable price. So that's kind of cool. They do have some higher price ones, but um, they do this weird like monthly series that I did. I don't remember when I did it, but every week they release a set of mystery boxes. So this is the uh, Chrono Toys February Classic Challenger Series mystery box. I bought six of them. They were $10.99 each. So it was a total of $65.94 for the actual boxes, but the shipping was super expensive. It was $23.94. That's actually one of the reasons I don't think I buy from Chrono Toys a lot because their shipping rates are like crazy high. Um, but after tax and shipping and everything, I paid $96.47. And that was for six boxes, which makes each of these boxes $16. We'll say it's $16 and like eight cents, but we'll just say $16. So we'll round down and go $16. Now, the reason that I got um, I got these boxes is because, and what they do is they like, they show you the box and then they have the list of like what different prizes. So for week one, which is, this is from week one, they had a Tony the, the Tiger Flock limited edition to 2000. They had a Beerus, which I'm not a fan of. They had a Disney Genie vaulted, an Iron Man Avengers vaulted, and then DC the Flash. So I was really going for the Disney Genie, Iron Man, and Tony the Tiger. Now the chances of me getting these pops are very, very slim because I think they released like like 500 boxes or even more than that. So it's a very small chance, but I thought I would go for it anyways. I did not buy any of the week two prizes because I wasn't really a fan of any of the top prizes. So I usually, like I said, I've said this with mystery boxes, you should really look at like what the big drops are and know that you like them because if not, then it's not gonna be as exciting. So um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. All right, once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. So we have six individually packed boxes, which is nice. I'll go ahead and pull these out and we can take a look. Oh, this is the company that uses the Uline boxes. I kind of forgot that that was it. All right, so we have our six boxes. I'm gonna put that on the floor. So we have our six boxes right here and they're all in just like Uline boxes. I'm gonna, I put a chair right here so that I could, I could stack things here and not put them on the floor. So let's go ahead and just crack in them and see what we got. This should be a pretty fun game of the pop is right. I wanna say that if you didn't get the top drops, then there's like a certain number of exclusives, um, potentially some chases, and then probably just a lot of commons. So we will see if we are lucky. Box number one. Oh, it's wrapped in, in the, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, we got a chase. <gasps> is this the van? Oh, it's, wait, hold on a second. I must have Vans guy. It's not the Vans guy, because we already have that. Okay, so this is, and here's the thing. I don't know anything about this person, but I was watching everybody on YouTube and Instagram going for this pop, which I think this is the actual one that they're going for. This is the Chase J Balvin. Balvin? 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 He must be a, uh singer because it says pop rocks. Uh, we got the limited chase. I don't know what the regular one looks like, but this one's dope. He's got green hair and he's got like army, like army pants that are like red, like the camouflage. Oh, this is neat. Oh, I'm excited for this one. This is cool. It's so funny because again, I saw a lot of people unboxing these, but I didn't know who it was, but I was like, ooh, they're really going for the chase. I think I watched like Top Pops and Bearded and Cletus and they, they all were like at a convention together and then they bought mystery boxes. I don't know if it was from Chrono Toys and they were all J Balvin Pops, but you could get the chase and then somebody got a chase. I don't remember who, sorry. My memory's not that good. Okay, that's a cool one. I'm down for that. It's always good to pull chases from these boxes, you know, like that's kind of a win. All right, box number two. Let's see what we got. All right. This is what we got. How does it look? Okay, we got 
Hello Kitty 8-Bit. It's actually kind of funny because I think that I received the chase of this in one of my mystery boxes and I didn't actually have the regular one and then I got the regular one but then I think I ended up giving it to Michelle in Hawaii. I brought it for her. She probably already has it. I didn't realize she had such a huge Funko Pop collection before I did that but anyways I'm actually excited because I think this will now put it back. Actually, I don't know if this is the one I gave her. I might have given her a different one. I, I don't remember now. Anyways, but that's a pretty common pop, so that's that's a pretty straightforward common pop. All right, here we go. Box number three. I'm actually already kind of considering this whole thing a win because of this chase pop. I think that, I think that's a good one. All right, this is box number three. How does it look? So I keep opening these boxes upside down. Uh, who is this? So we got a Kingdom Part, uh, a Kingdom Hearts pop. This person looks creepy. Leah. I can't tell if this is a girl or a guy. I'm, I mean, I guess I could assume it's a guy, a girl, just because of the name. But who knows? He looks really like a bad guy. Like he looks angry. Is this a bad guy? He looks evil. He looks a tad bit evil. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts was the one game that I was like, I think if I'm going to start playing like some kind of adventure game, I feel like it'd be Kingdom Hearts because, I don't know, you guys said it was a pretty good game, but I have not started playing that yet. Okay, here we go. Box number four. Do we get one of the limited edition ones? Probably not. I'm not going to hold my breath. Why do I keep opening these upside down? Okay, we got another Kingdom Hearts pop. This time we got Sora with Ultima Weapon. So Sora is like the one character that I actually know from this game just because I have received a lot of figures from him. Wow, his weapon that he has is very intense in this one. That's pretty cool. There's the side view and the back view. Again, I think that's a, a common pop. So I think the J Balvin, uh, I don't know if that's gonna be our best pull, but it might be. Okay, box number five. Ah, wait. Okay. Now, box number five. How is it? Oh my god. Wait a second. Why do I keep getting My Hero Academia pops? So we have All Might as a teacher. That's so funny. I literally keep getting so many My Hero Academia pops. Like, it's crazy. Uh, there's the side view and then the set. Um, I think this is the same character that I recently got. Yes, but the last time I got was Silver Age All Might and I think he was heavier. This guy's still pretty heavy, but he's not as heavy as the last time I got him, I don't think. Okay, last box. Can everybody just shoot your good mojo through your computer or your phone or what, your TV, whatever you're watching this, you just shoot it my way. Let me just catch it. Let me catch it. I'm going to, I'm going to catch it and we're going to into the box and see if that will help us get a limited edition pop. Probably not, but that's okay. I appreciate you trying. For those of you who actually tried to shoot your good mojo towards me, I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Last box, last box, last box, last box. How does it look? Okay, we didn't get one of the like intense limited edition ones, but we got a Batman pop. I'm down for that. Um, we got Batman Red Sun. So I like this series. I haven't been really collecting it. This, there's a little bit of damage on this pop. I love the black boxes. Like if I'm being realistic, my favorite thing about these are the black boxes. They're just so different and they stand out in the stores. Um, this is a cool Batman pop though. Oh, I'm excited. I like his little hat. His little hat. Um, there is some damage in the corner of the box, but nothing too crazy. Okay, so that is all the pops that we got. Let's go ahead and play a quick game of The Pop Is Right! It's gonna be kind of difficult because there are a lot of common pops, but I'm gonna do my best. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be our most valuable pop. It's a chase. I don't know why it wouldn't be. I'm gonna go Hello Kitty number one. I'm gonna go... Ooh, I don't know. These ones... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna say that the Batman pop is gonna be... 
I feel like these could all be tied, but with the Hello Kitty one being the least amount. But let's do... Uh, I'm honestly just taking a really intense guess guess at this. Um, meh. Okay, I'm going to stick with this order. Ooh, I don't know how this is going to be. So I'm going Hello Kitty first, the My Hero Academia pop, uh, it's going to go Leia and then Sora, the Batman, and then J Balvin. I do think that these are all going to be like the same price. I don't, I, they're all commons. I can't imagine that they're going to be like that different, but let's go ahead and check it out and see how we did. And then I'll also put the value in my calculator so we can see if we hit our value. So first pop we have is our Hello Kitty pop. A uh, regular pop is $8. Oh, that's actually more than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh oh. Okay, the My Hero Academic Pop. Ah! Dang it! It's seven dollars. Ah! That Hello Kitty Pop. I thought it was gonna be five dollars. Ugh. Okay, Leia's nine, so we're we're still on track for at least that being in the third place spot right now. Sora is ten. Okay, we're doing good. So I messed these two up, but so far these two are okay. Let's see if this Batman Pop. I don't know if I put this in. What was it? It was eight seven, nine, and 10. Let's see if the Batman pop. <sighs> the Batman pop is $8. Dang it, I should have known. Okay, well, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed for this. I think I'll at least get one right. One right. Okay, oh, this is a good one. Okay, so the regular J Balvin is $33, um, but this Chase version is $55, so woohoo. So basically, in order, it should have been one, these are tied for two and three, and then it would be four, five, six. So I, I think the only one I got right is in this place because, yeah. Oh well, it happens. What are you gonna do about it? So I didn't do well and the pop is right that time. It's cause last time I did so well that the universe was like, you can't do that well every single time. That's what it, well, that's what's happening. All right, so all in all, oh wait, let's see. So all in all, my value was $97, which I think actually is what I, is that what I paid for it total? Let's see, what did I say, $94? $96.47. So in total, I paid $96.47 and I got $97 worth of value. I did include tax, which sometimes I don't include it, sometimes I do, so that's hit or miss. Um, but I basically broke even on these, so I'm, I'm cool with that. You guys know I just like the joy of mystery boxes, so I'm down. But this one's a pretty cool pool. I'm pretty excited about this. I don't have a lot of Chase Pops in my collection, so I'm excited just to have that because it's a Chase Pop. So all good. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, did you guys buy any boxes from the Week 1 February Challenger Series? If you did, what did you get? Um, and then what is your favorite pop out of the ones that I got? I mean, I feel like everyone's going to say the J Balvin pop, right? Because that's like the coolest pop that I got. But yeah, let me know all of your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shot's gonna go to Zach Hughes. Zach, I just saw your name pop up in my comments. Zach Hughes, if I remember correctly, uh, unless I'm just really messing this up, uh, Zach has been following me almost like legitimately since the beginning, and I'm pretty sure, Zach, please correct me if I'm wrong, you are the Zach who actually interviewed me. It was like my first ever interview. I, I don't do a lot of interviews. I think it was like my only interview. Anyways, you like interviewed me about my channel and I don't think it ever got put up because I think you had audio issues from the recording, but I just remember like, like feeling like I was a rock star. I was like, wow, this guy wants to interview me. That's so cool. And I remember I was at Chris and Soren's old house and I was like on their laptop or something. It was crazy. But Zach, I'm pretty sure that was you. Uh, I don't know if it was a different Zach, but I'm pretty sure it's you, Zach Hughes. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting, doing all the things. And if you are the Zach that did that interview with me, thank you so much for following me for 
like literally I think since the beginning. So you've been here for a very, very long time. I appreciate all your support and I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Zach Hughes. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.